guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 16 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I literally would have had this out, like, earlier today, because it's now 11 o'clock at night. But, right as I was going to start, <laughs> big behind thunderstorm. And I was like, great, I can't record till later on today, aka nighttime. And it's supposed to rain all this freaking week. Florida. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Pikey baby. Oh no, this is... This should be the episode where she kind of, yeah. And that means you must have thought it was boring. <laughs> Honestly, it's really nice to see these five like this. I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Oh, we about to be like Ariel up in Little Mermaid. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This might be a long video for me today. Oh, God, because I'm getting it. The feels. I mean, even from, like, last week's, like, teaser and preview, you could tell because, of course, number one, we're getting very close to when Laura is going to debut as the final hero of the series and such. Um, but at the same time... Oh my god, please don't miss what on me. Okay, thank god. Whew. Um, it is a little sad to see her like this because you can see all over her face that she wants to be where the rest of the girls are. And she, it is still coming up, oh my god. Um, <laughs> there, There's a, a problem in a way. There's like a big old rock or a mountain or something in her way in order to be with the rest of her girlfriends, unfortunately. And you feel bad for her because it's like, damn. You want her to experience of going to school together or walking somewhere. So hopefully when she does get her transformation, she gets freaking legs. And she's able to walk around as a human. Because of course when she transforms into a cure, she gets legs. But I need to have that moment of where she's going to be like Lucia or freaking Ariel and, and get freaking legs and be a human for a day. Or umpteen wings. <laughs> Turn this up a little bit more. Mm hmm. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> you know what I thought Manasu was going to say? Oh, well, let's just be lazy all this summer and, like, just do whatever. Oh, see, mm. 
on this in a way, private beaches. <laughs> no! She could be asleep. She's jealous of you guys. <laughs> eh, Oscar's right. She's not even in there, is she? Mm. You think she went to the club room? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just, you know, upset. That's all. No. Mm -hmm. but okay Laura number one it is written all over your face like come on now let's be a little smart about that exactly the, oh my god Laura that's such bull It is foolish. I mean, but she did it because she wasn't. She wanted to be in love. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same thing of being, you know, a workaholic or anything. Sometimes you just can't make that time with friends and family because your work has become like your everyday need your wants and everything not to say that that's bad please don't think that's bad but sometimes you never really know it, it, it depends on the person sometimes really Because some people usually like to work and be very, very, like, deep, deep in their work and be super busy in it. And some people don't. Some people like to still have that balance of the two. And sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. <laughs> no, she's just jealous. <laughs> Laura. Once again, Laura is just me in a nutshell. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, well, you know, you're not going to be able to become queen if you just lay down all the time, hun. Honestly, that drink looks good. Oh, my nails are pretty. I mean, we're already getting obvious of what, like, Laura's thing is going to be. Yes, it's nails. Yeah, but you know, have you guys even done your actual... I mean, well, yeah, he he's done his. He's cooked. But, like, has our doctor actually done, like, any doctoring now since, like, 16 episodes into this show? Like, I thought I was bad with my procrastination. Like, ooh. Friends, family. Is it really worth it, though? Your tail. Oh, the mirror. It's bad that I want that mirror too. Like, oh, I'm trying to think. Like, which one should I buy first? <laughs> I might wait, like, a while for, like, because the biggest thing that I want is her transformation thing. Um, but I might buy that her pact first and then buy um, the mirror thing. No, it's cute. It's you. <laughs> I love it. Oh. There we go. No. <laughs> I know they're selling lip balm and they're also selling like nail polish, but like I went on Amazon Japan, only could find the lip balms. seriously for damn we really are oh my god because it, it doesn't even feel like we're 14 minutes in and we're we got like nine minutes left how the heck is laura gonna be like caught and because i think what next week is supposed to be her introduction episode is her cure finally look at him You 
good to see baby Boonity. Take your time to open it. That's so cute. I love the little subtle things. Like, ah. This is going to be ending, like, probably very cliffhanger style. Something just gives me that feeling because we're now 16 minutes in. We are very close to the end of this episode. And no, like, y'all know how this ends. I don't. <laughs> That's not it. That's just like suntan lotion bottle. My best girl would be taken. 16 episodes in the show. Mm. How many minutes do we have left before we're done with this episode? We have six minutes left. Oh my god. I, mm, this is going to end in a cliffhanger. Technically take off this the one of six. We probably got five minutes left. Perfect. That is literally me taking screenshots <laughs> of like best girls, best boys. I'm like, yes, I need it. Hmm. 
and you wonder like mm, <laughs> who gonna take that journey down there like oh my god mm. but she's your friend right and you would do anything for her mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a sign, a clue. Oh, this is giving me Mermaid Melody vibes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, basically saying, Laura, you talk too much. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What with a with procrastinating? <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe her. See, you see that smart? Mm-mm. Big old no no. Big no no. Okay, let's talk about this like oh god huh okay you know what this also gives me feels not only to little mermaid in a nutshell but if any of you have seen the mm, god once upon a time on abc when that show was airing on tv um and this is really in general with some real life and situations the you know the word of price, like everything that you're going to make a deal with someone, there is always something of a price that is supposed to be um, made and such. And so it's like, oh, hey, if you do this, I'll give you this. If you do that, I'll give you that. The deal and a price. And it's like, is this really truly the deal breaker that you should make? What's worth, what's the biggest thing that's worth for you and such? And so for Laura, the biggest thing is for her to become human and to be around the girls. Because yes, she does feel left out that she is a mermaid and the girls are humans and she doesn't really get to have that, you know, leverage of being with them all the time. Because necessarily, yes, she is with them 100% of the time, but the thing is... She can't come out in public and hang out then because, you know, if somebody sees them tails, you know, somebody gonna freak out and be like, hey, yo, what the heck is going on? But never. It's like, come on now, we've learned this from Disney movies. You don't trust the villains. Even in anime movies or in anime TV shows, you don't trust or combine in the villains as much as you like them. Never, because, come on now. It's time. Oh my god. Look at it! <laughs> okay, time out, time out. Oh, she's beautiful, even though I've seen... I, I think, when was the time that I saw, like, not her official art? Um... But, like, I think artwork, uh, fan art of her, I think it was maybe about, um, it was a while ago. 
and it just like popped up on my Twitter timeline and I was like oh so that's what she's gonna look like and honestly I was like yeah I gotta keep this to myself a little while because you know at the same time because like okay let's compare this to like when I reacted to Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl mode the biggest thing of me with Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl uh, Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl a mode a la mode um was not to get spoiled and ever since i've started reacting to this show ever since 2016 up until now as someone who has watched futariwa all the way to i think the the one before kira kira before kira was maho sky i believe um was all about trying not to find out or get spoiled about who the next kira was because I don't like to get spoiled, essentially. This is with, like, any animes, especially, like, when it is a manga-spoiled heavy thing, like, okay, like, My Hero Academia, or almost, like, anything else that I really, truly like, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be spoiled because of reasons and shit like that. Well, when I found out about this, I mean, because, like, to me, I think right from episode one, in my opinion, from the get-go, it was already kind of, you could already kind of tell that Laura was going to be the final cure. So I think I can speak for a lot of people. It's not as surprising as it. Like, okay, when Toa um, came into the group, essentially prin our, our princess from Go Princess Breaker, when she was a bad guy, necessarily, at the same time when she got the key and she saw the key, something told me, okay, yeah, you're going to be the final cure of this show and such. I was like, come on now. It's like, it's painfully obvious. Sometimes you can tell and sometimes you can't because I, I think like what, in the beginning, we all thought that this student council president girl who was getting into arguments with Asuka every single week was going to be the final cure. Just as much as how when I first watched Go Princess Pretty Cure for the first time and um, Haruka's friends with the uh, the the braids or and such, I thought she was going to be a final cure because she was like oozing that energy and such. And then they said no, so <laughs> she's just going to be like the mascot friend, but not really the mascot mascot. But I mean, we're going back into like go um yeah go princess I mean go princess no yes pretty cure five five uh you, and, oh my god I can't say it right yes pretty cure five and yes pretty cure five go go feels with necessarily having the mascot or someone important to them being the final cure and such but yes once again I mean we can talk about her I mean like she she looks gorgeous I, I think the first time when I saw a fan art of her of everybody like initially doing their point or take on our final cure I loved it I thought everybody's looked really really good the final look looks flawless as heck as well and I love it the biggest thing is now wanting to see her transformation because this is now officially one of the most anticipated transformations for me when we get there next week because she might trump um freaking cure earth <laughs> of course <laughs> my princess from <laughs> last season because I know a lot of people will say like yeah um <laughs> Nadoka and the rest of the girls have the better transformation but like I said I was like she had a dog in her transformation she already won I was like that's it I was like yes we had a we had a bunny a cat and a penguin but a dog a freaking dog like stand <laughs> stood the test of time it became the best transformation of it because I was just like uh it's so cute because I have a dog myself and I love dogs and such I was like yeah best girl right there like yes just adorable but I, I really hope that this transformation next week is flawless and gorgeous beyond because as someone who really loves Laura from the get-go saw myself and Laura a lot even even till now because the our attitude and the way we want to go and say things it's 100% there she's the one that I really love and care for the most as much as I love all of them and such but I mean this this is gonna be really good and I just oh god I can't wait I would love to I might even paint my nails blue for it because funny enough my toes are pink and her toes are pink in her transformation so might as well go ahead and paint my nails blue because I think I have like this ocean blue color but her nails her yeah her fingernails are more like a lightish blue 
I have that other mermaid magic one, so I would have to look to just really compare and such. But it would be cute just to pay homage to Laura because, once again, like I said, she is one of my best girls and I love her so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 16 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode 17. Bye, guys.